Have you ever noticed when you're modeling details in Maya that sometimes several entire spins of the scroll wheel in is equal to a single scroll wheel bump backwards like this? So I'm not going to flick the wheel forward one, two, three, four times and then roll it back one single click. This happens. It's absolutely infuriating and it ruins a whole lot of my YouTube tutorials. The other issue that it might cause is issues that when you go to hit F to focus on an object, your camera phases entirely through the object itself like this, which can be a right pain. And when you try and move the camera, it seems to lose focus really easily of all the details that you're working on. There are many ways to solve this issue. The easiest one is to simply go to your attribute editor of the camera that you're currently looking through and changing the near clip plane from 0.1 to 0.01. But this doesn't fix the orthographic view issue where your scroll wheels are completely messed up, whether you zoom in or out. So don't do that. The best way to fix this is to actually change the entire scale of your scene. So most people when they're modeling, like this student here is modeling this awesome tank, you will model it to about the size of the grid. In your mind, you see the grid as like a tabletop surface. And so you naturally create your model to be the size of that. However, this is actually incorrect and it's been wrong in Maya forever. And this isn't a good scale to work at at all. I don't know why when you install Maya, this is a scale that you get. So let's fix it. First of all, let's make the scale of our table bigger. Go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, settings on the left, change of working units from linear, from centimeters to meters. Even if you're from America, do meters. And then hit save and you zoom out, you can see the grid is significantly larger. Working to this scale of meters is actually a really useful thing to do. And it's often the scale that is used when you import things into game engines. And it's a great thing to agree on when you're working with many people in a team, uh, each creating 3D models. I'd recommend always working to meters. So we're now gonna need to scale our tank up to this grid meter size up here. I don't know exactly how many meters a tank is, so I'm just gonna estimate, but you'll get the idea. I Need to select everything in my scene now don't forget that you might have layers with other geometry in that you currently can't see and you might also have image planes when you select your geometry to move it doesn't select all your little image planes that you've got going on so the best and safest way to select everything in your scene is to go to the outliner click on the topmost group ignore the cameras and go right down to the bottom and select the last object that you can see down here before you get to your default life set and I held shift to click in between so they're all selected and I'm just going to group my entire scene control G and now everything's inside this group here this means I can resize it without it glitching and it's going to increase the size of the tank to roughly what the student had before proportionately to the grid like this and I'm going to close that down just to be safe I'm going to freeze transformations on what I've done to stop any problems happening from later on that's this button here or if you're in an older version of Maya that modify freeze transformations and now if you go back to your space bar to your top view you might need to zoom out quite far I'm going to have to focus on my little line and if I zoom out now one two three bumps on the scroll wheel is now equal to one two three bumps zooming back in again the problem's been solved there's still a glitch though <clears throat> there's still several problems that we've got to try and fix if you look at some of the details in your scene you'll see some black flickering going on when you get further away from it like this and also if you go far enough away your entire scene vanishes into the fog which is really annoying so to fix this click in your camera icon at the top left of your scene which is the select camera and in the attribute editor for the camera you're going to need to go to the near clip and far clip plane so if you zoom out a bit until you can see your tank or whatever you're doing disappearing go to the far clip plane and add a zoom zero in there so it goes from 100 to 1000 that will now make the black flickering on your stuff significantly worse to fix that you need to change the near clip plane and move the one a decimal point to the left so instead of 0 0.001 I'm just going to do 0 0.01 and then hit enter that has now fixed the black flickering issue although you can still see it a bit when you zoom out and you can, of course, change your near clip plane again if you want to remove another number in there. The disadvantage of changing your near clip plane too much is that when you zoom in, details might start phasing through the camera like this. So you just have to find a good balance for the near clip plane so that things don't start disappearing too close to the camera. So I will actually set this back to 0 0.01 instead, and I can live with that. 
So I teach Maya to hundreds of students a year as beginners, and this is something that they can all replicate on day one of Maya. So I have no idea why the default scale in Maya is so wrong that it causes such immense pain to so many people at the same time. I've gone on the forums to explain my pain and Maya's got back and they've just said they can't reproduce the issue or anything like that, even though I can with 25 students in a classroom, but that's their business anyway. So hopefully this helps you guys solve any infuriating camera glitchy issues in your scenes.